Hello everyone to another Katan video here on colonist.io and to my road to top 100 series. So in this game I am in the second position and I noticed that there is quite some good amount of uh, ore available on this board. Not a lot of break. Um, here I surely like the 9-5-10 spot, uh, grabbing the best break, best wood and a decent sheep. 6-5-11 uh, might also be a good spot here but then I think the only spot I can or the only placement uh, I can get to pair it up would be something like 8-3-4 or 8-3-10-4 uh, which is very unlikely. Here in the third or fourth position, somebody can easily go for something like 6 4 11, 8 10 4 and have a very strong game. Uh, that said, yeah, I still like going for uh, 9 5 10 here and go towards the brick port. But I think it will be very difficult for me to pair that setup uh, with anything else because I think something like uh, 9-5-10 or 6-3 might be open which doesn't go too well with the 9-5-10 setup that I already have. Maybe I can go for something like 6-5-12 here point to the left and try and get to the over port that is surely an option that I have. Yeah, I think when it comes back to me I will be able to get some wood no, sorry some break spot. So maybe I should go for 6, 5, 12. Uh, that said, here I still like going for 6, 5, 11. And I will point to the right. I believe uh, 9, 5, 12 will be picked up. And that's why I just want to point to the right. Uh, 4, 11 will surely be left open for me. If nothing else works out, I think that is a decent expansion spot, increasing my wheat production. Yeah. Not too convinced if uh, 6511 was the best pick, but um, I think surely it's a manageable uh, or a playable choice at this point. Here somebody can surely try going for 6, 4, 11 point downward and go towards the overboard. I think Will here most likely has to go for something like either 9, 5, 10 or 8, 3, 4. Yeah, does go for, sorry, 8, 4, 10. The only problem with that setup is I don't think black will be able to get the 6 4 11 spot. I mean if black does get the 6 4 11 spot black is in a very very strong position. For me I think I'll be more than happy if I get something like uh, 9 5 10. Although I have a lot of wood to play with, but um, surely don't mind that setup. I can also go for something like 9, 3, 10 and then try and get to the 8, 10 spot. Increase my wheat production. But I think uh, red can easily go for something like um, 9, 5, 10 and uh, 6, 4, 11. Does go for 6, 4, 11 and goes for the 9, 5, 10 at the bottom. Yeah, I don't like that. Especially because now black will get 9, 5, 10 on the top. And with the access to the sheep port, it seems to be a very, very good placement spot. Yeah, and the speed at which red 
picked up that spot i think red surely should have considered the 9510 on the top yeah and now here i am not sure what my best option is i can go for 9311 but the production isn't too great there that said i that will give me a option of building towards 810 which isn't a bad i mean which is a very strong placement spot but then i'm playing only with i still won't be getting any sheep maybe i can start with 83 here point upwards and then try and get to 63 and um 411 surely don't mind that setup at all yeah i don't think um i have any other option here i can start with 810 directly um but still i mean i yeah red should have surely gone towards the 9510 on the top here would have made the game much easier but at this point i think just grabbing the 83 spot i do start with only two sheep in hand and my production is not too great early on i also don't want to leave something like uh, 9311 open for black sorry open for orange so i am a very very confused here i am tending towards um, yeah i think i'll just go for 69311 i know it's a difficult game but uh, that's how it is here <clears throat> i'm not sure how i can make any wow orange goes for 411 that isn't good for me at all so now it like 810 is the only decent spot that i have i believe early on in the game your i would love to roll a 7 i will tar target black unfortunately i don't roll it i don't think people should be doing easy trades with black at all this game wow these eights are very very lucky for black but uh, not much that i can do just yet your let's see if i can get any trades i will accept a 1 is to 2 Yeah, and these tens are just helping black in a. Maybe I should have gone for eight three early on. I think that was my only decent choice. Maybe I just go for a one is to three and hope that black accepts it.
this seems to be a good trade i will accept it at this point uh, this could give me a port if a six roll sorry a city if a six rolls a six does roll here and i think i'll just go for the city i would want a five or a i think five a few fives to roll red gets a city as well orange will most likely block the six over here which would be unfortunate i mean leaving black okay actually he rolls a 12 i thought he rolled a 7 uh, surely a mistake on my part wow orange gets a city too another 10 so these tens fours is uh, fours and uh, eights are no good for me Here maybe black wants to play a knight. Okay, just plays a road building. And eleven does roll here. A pretty good roll for me, giving me three bricks. Hopefully no seven. As I was saying, it a seven does roll there. Yeah, I sh surely need a five for wow. Finally, wood does roll, but it is blocked for me, so I don't get anything. another 11 which is not a bad roll at all and a 6 so let's see if i can get any trades i am offering a 2 is to 2 maybe black accepts this trade here because black does have some a two did roll there okay black doesn't accept it maybe i can get a wheat Actually, I don't want to do a one is to two here. So at this point, I think my only option is to do a four is to one. I do get a trade so at the very least I'll go for a dev card I do get a monopoly which I think is very good at this point in time for me and now I'll just convert all my actually I will convert all my ore and uh, brick into a wood and a sheep sorry in, into a wheat and a sheep and end my turn Yeah, I think this is fine. Finally, a five rolls. Okay, orange rolls a seven. Orange blocks. Yeah, I think this is the right move. I mean red is also in a very strong position but uh, this is fine as well
Yeah, this seems to be a good offer for me. Here I roll a seven, and I. It's difficult for me to block both a uh, red and uh, black, but I think at this point I will just target black, and I will go for a dev card. I do get a knight, which isn't. the best dev card for me at this point but um, that's the only choice i have i do think red is ahead um but it's not like i have any choice here wow so the last two rolls have been very lucky for me here let's see if i can get a trade maybe black accepts it i can't do a 2 is to 1 here maybe i should just go for this trade here with red i mean red is way far ahead in the game but it's not like i have much choice yeah so i'll just accept it hopefully black can roll a 7 black rolls a 6 i wouldn't mind if black plays a monopoly okay black plays a year of plenty i think black is just going for a city at this point goes for a settlement Yeah so black is complaining about rolls i don't think that is true it did roll quite a bit early on in the game wow here surely i am targeting red i think that is completely fine I do get or uh, but I don't think it helps me in any way at this point. I do know that there is quite some sheep out there because a 10 did roll but that wouldn't help me much because the best I can do is just a 4 is to 1. So I'll just hold on to these cards and end my turn. It seems to be a good roll for me, especially because uh, I do get wheat. Red plays the knight. Rolls a ten, but I'm pretty sure he'll make use of all the sheep that he has in hand. here i would want a couple of eights to roll or maybe tens would be fine as well yeah a couple of tens would be okay just so that i can play my monopoly and i do think i'll just play my monopoly on sheep here yeah i don't think i have much of a choice people are too far in the lead uh, so i just have to play my monopoly at this point i do get 10 sheep which seems to be a very good pull here i might be willing to do a few trades yeah I, but seems like i am not going to get any I think here I can just build two roads and a settlement. 
So yeah, I think this is fine. I do need three uh, like two roads and a settlement. I can just get it here. This also gives me the longest road. And now eights are even better for me, giving me two beats. I wish I had another monopoly. I would have surely played it on over at this point. Red holds on to all the over in hand, which is really surprising. So if I had a monopoly, that would have been really good for me. But uh, it's all right. Here, yeah, I think I'll just get my second city on the 810 spot, increasing my wheat production. Actually, I don't need more wheat. I would rather prefer getting more road building material just to hold on to my longest road. 11 gives me four bricks, but I think it's a better role for red. Actually, red just won, won the game there, I believe. I think even if red rolls the seven, red will be able to win the game. Yeah, unfortunately, black is able to take the longest road away from me. So pretty easy win there for red. And, yeah, and I end up on the third position along with orange. I think my setup was just too bad. Uh, nine rolled only once this entire game, and uh, it was blocked back then. Sixes did roll quite a bit. I think I should have played my knight just to block red, but uh, I don't think that made any difference. Elevens did roll quite a bit. I mean, these yeah, tens did roll a lot early on. Yeah, and people are just saying I got die lucky, lucky dice, which is, which has been the case of late on colonist. The rolls haven't been fair, or they don't seem fair much. I would have surely preferred getting, uh, getting a mon second monopoly, which would have been much better. Overall, quite a decent game, but. Um, my thing, my setup was just too bad. Having no wheat and sheep, I couldn't do much. And also, I did get a port, but I think it was just a little too late. So that's how it is sometimes. Um, maybe I should have gone for 8-3. Uh, that might have been slightly better rather than going for 9-3-11. But yeah, that's how it is sometimes. Surely not the best game, but so still that's how it is. Uh, let's take a look at the leaderboard now. I think I was in 1100s the last time I saw this. It's been a few days since I recorded, but yeah, now I am at 1465. So maybe I wasn't at 1100. Uh, yeah, anyway. Bye for now and see you again in the next video. Bye bye. Hello everyone to another Katan video here on colonist.io and to my road to top 100 series. So in this game, I am in the third position and uh, orange goes for 659. That is an excellent uh, production spot. Surely can't fault him for going for that setup there. Here, I would like to get something like 8510. I believe getting a strong wood and brick would be pretty good on this board, especially because there is not a lot of uh, ore available at this point. I mean, like 834 may be possible to play, but it's difficult. Uh, 
and uh, something like 6311 is surely not a good placement because of the low production there yeah so based on that i think just going for a setup like 854 693 seems to be a very good setup um instead red just goes for 894 there and here i think just going for 693 is fine there is some chance that i might be able to pair it up with either 5411 or 6311 maybe 834 so that seems to be a fine choice here i'm just considering any other spot like 8510 seems to be a good spot as well but then i'm not sure what would my second pick look like in that setup maybe if i go for 52 but uh, that surely isn't a good spot yeah so based on that i think just going for 693 here is fine i can also go for 834 but uh, yeah here i like 693 especially with the access to the sheep port i think i can play a game uh for my second pick surely something like 910 11 or 834 63 11 seem to be fine choice I can also go for 8510 and then try and get to the 910 spot to increase my sheep production for the sheep port. Okay, black goes for 854 I'm not sure. I mean, he can go for 6311 here. So, yeah, black does go for 6311. And now I think i can just go for 834 uh although my production isn't the best but um, i mean i don't have any break and my ore production isn't the strongest but it's decent enough that i can play with the 3 to 1 port and the sheep port so let's see i think red can red would want to go for something like 9411 yeah exactly that's what red does here with the help of the wheat port i think that's a pretty good setup and now i think uh, yeah black goes for 810 completely fine there so black is uh, sorry orange is just trying to play a orvi cheap game and at this point i will go for a dev card i would have preferred getting a year of plenty or a road building getting an early victory point is not something that i like but it's uh, all right here yeah early road building would have been excellent for me i would have surely built towards 10311 increase my sheep production especially because i will be able to build on the sheep port later on in the game but now i think red does have a pretty strong game and so does orange orange will be able to get a city soon enough Here I think I'll just go for blocking the word and stealing from orange. Or uh, there is a good chance I will be able to get ore. I do get some ore here, and I will again go for a dev card. I get monopoly, which is pretty good.
here yeah just plays the knight steals from me which is all right i don't think uh, i am in a very strong position but i think it's because i stole from orange he is just stealing it back from me which is understandable at this point yeah i think red is in a good position here although they do not have any or once red gets to the 52 spot red can make good progress and maybe that's why i should think about targeting red let me see if i can get a 1 is to 2 here instead just does a 4 is to 1 not much that i can do with the cards i have so i'll just end my turn there and black gets a city early on maybe now i don't think i'll go for another dev card i already have a pretty good card on in a mono in the form of monopoly and i don't think i should be fighting for the largest army at all uh, it will be difficult for me to match with the production that orange has wow um yeah that said here if i don't get a dev card i cannot do anything i'll just have to hold on to these cards in hand so maybe just getting a dev card i do get another victory point so it's not working out exactly that the way i want but it's not bad at all these vps could come in handy later on in the game here i will go for a trade i don't produce any brick so getting some brick should not be a bad choice here and this will also make that people start targeting black let's see what red does here pull the 7 yeah so here i will be able to build a road and i think at this point just getting a road towards the sheep port is fine another 11 so black does have quite a few bricks here wow so surely i can i can try and play a monopoly on brick at this point or uh, there seem to be at least six bricks in the game i think even red might have two so at least okay red uses one i do roll a 7 so that does mean that uh, black will give up of all the bricks that they have so that's a little unfortunate here yeah it does give away three bricks so not much that i can do about it uh, i do get a wheat uh, after stealing from black and here i think i'll just go for another dev card i get a knight which is completely fine at this point
So yeah, I cannot do much with the cards I have, so I'll just end my turn here. Here, let me see if I can get a one is to two. So yeah, I do get a trade. So that's pretty good, especially because I do get a brick. Uh, that's a resource that I don't produce. And another eleven is rolled. So again, I might be able to play a monopoly on brick. Well, let's see. I mean, red will make use of all the brick that they have in hand. Or uh, just get a quick one is to one with uh, orange there. Hopefully red is not able to get a settlement here. Okay, he's still able to get a settlement. And now I think at this point playing the monopoly on brick doesn't make a lot of sense. So let's see if I can get this trade. I will be able to build a settlement on the four. Uh, yeah, I will trade with black here. This does help me increase my ore production. Although I do get the brick port, which is not something that I want, but uh, this seems to be completely fine. Here I would love to see black roll a seven. That could be one of the best rolls for me. Instead, just roll the two. Oh. Okay, black plays a road building and black might want to build to on 10, 3, 11. So now black is in a very strong position to get dev cards and lots and lots of dev cards for that matter. Here I would want a few threes to roll. Uh, so that I can play a monopoly on sheep. Let's see what red does here. To be honest, I wouldn't mind red rolling a nine either. Yeah, but um, yeah, at this point, not much that I can do with the cards I have in hand and I don't want to play my uh, Monopoly just yet. Your black does have quite a few ores, will surely do a 4 is to 1 if possible. Also has a few sheeps because a 3 had rolled. But because black doesn't have any ports, he will have to do a 4 is to 1. Uh, this seems to be a good trade, uh, but I'm not sure if anybody has wheat. I don't think 9s and 10s have rolled in quite some time. Bob actually just ends the turn there. Really surprising. So here I surely hope I am hoping for a 3 to roll. That would be a huge monopoly for me on sheep. Very unfortunate there rolling a 7 that could have been one that is one of the worst rolls that I can have here. Yeah, so absolutely nothing that I can do. So yeah, black gave away 4 ores so I cannot play Monopoly on ore here. He also gave away a few sheep. 
so it doesn't make any sense to play the monopoly at this point a little unlucky there uh, rolling um getting a monopoly exactly when uh, rolling a 7 exactly when i wanted to play a monopoly and this happened twice oh, wow again so yeah i mean surely the rolls are not in my favor here so i can still play a monopoly on or let's see if i can get any trades though before i do that so red accepts a trade let's see if i can get this trade either also maybe somebody would be willing to play uh, for a break so here surely i am going to play my monopoly now and i get 9 overs so that's pretty good for me here i will surely be getting my city on the 834 i don't i mean it's unlikely that 834 gets blocked a lot but i think just getting a city on 693 makes more sense and because i don't have any 4s to 1 ports here i'll just go for a dev card i do get a knight uh, that is completely fine here Yeah so black is very frustrated that i got a played that monopoly On the other hand red oh, sorry orange does get the largest army here Here because i have six cards i will play my monopoly and at this point i will steal from orange i need word i get over which is not the best but it's fine and i think again just going for another def card is fine especially because i believe people will be targeting me so getting these knights would be good so here again i will play my monopoly uh, this surely seems to be a good trade for me because i don't produce any break although to some extent i am a little worried because red can easily take the longest road Okay, red is just going for a city. Here, I do need to get a sheep, so maybe I should continue targeting orange. I get a wheat, not something that I'm looking for. And here, I cannot do much. Uh, let's see if I can get any trades. maybe red might be willing to accept this trade with me okay doesn't do that so i'll just end my turn yeah so these lines have been rolling pretty frequently which is pretty good for me but at this point i think orange also benefits quite a bit yeah i like threes as well hopefully i don't roll a seven i will be able to get my settlement uh, 
I roll a 10 here and just because I want to block red from getting a settlement on 6-2 maybe I should build a road and a settlement uh, I will try to do that if I get a trade here uh, maybe a 1-1 is could also work so yeah because none of those trades are going through I do get my settlement and I will go for more dev cards here based on the way this game has been going there is some chance that I might be able to fight for the largest army okay wow solo blocks me I think he's just frustrated because uh, yeah because of the monopoly that I played And this is actually working in red's favor. Red will be able to get a settlement in this turn. I'm willing to do any 1 is to 2 here. So although I do give red a settlement. Not sure why he's building downwards there, that doesn't make any sense. And here I th think I need to block. Uh, the reason why I'm not blocking the orange is I do not want orange to play on. Yeah, but now I will block orange anyway. And I think I'll just block the ore. Uh, yeah, I would have preferred if I got a ore, but this is fine as well. Just build my road and end my turn. Wow, and the 6 does roll here. That's a pretty good roll for me. So I will be able to get 2 dev cards on my turn. And if not 2 dev cards, then at least a city. Yeah, so this uh, 6 is something that I do not like here. I am on 7 cards already and that's why I will not be playing my knight. And unfortunately I should have played it actually. It backfires. Now my only option is to get 2 dev cards. But um, at this point I would rather just get a city on 8-3-4. And end my turn. So yeah, I surely should have played my knight. Uh, a mistake on my part. A poor one at that. Thus play a monopoly and steals. Okay, so maybe black might be able to win the game there. Yeah. So I end the game on second position. Uh, mistake on my part, I should have played the knight or turn earlier. That would have stopped black from getting the longest road. Or sorry, getting the city. Uh, overall a good game. I think apart from that one mistake, I it was a pretty decent game by me. I do, did play the monopoly at the right time as well. Which helped me get a city. And uh, yeah, nines did roll quite a bit, so that was good for me. Uh, let's take a look at the leaderboard. It's unfortunate I have been trending in the wrong direction, but um, not much that I can do. I have been trying to play my best game. So. Yeah, I am at 15.42, would want to win a few games in a row, that would push me uh, in the top 1000, at least uh, that would be a good uh, booster, momentum booster for me. Yeah, anyway, uh, bye for now and see you again in the next video. Bye bye.
Hello everyone to another Katan video here on colonist.io and to my road to top 100 series. So in this game I am in the fourth position and uh, white here in the first place goes for 6, 9, 10. I think that's a pretty good spot. I believe this is going to be a pretty tough choice. Uh, there is not a lot of brick available on the board and uh, white has the best brick. There is quite a lot of wheat available. So maybe I can get a setup like 8, 5, 10, 6, 3, 4. I would be more than happy with that. And at this point, it does seem possible. I can also go for something like 8, 5, 10 and 6, 3, 12. Um, have a very strong or we cheap game. So here I just have to make a choice whether I want to go for the or we cheap game or want to play with the wheat port. And to be really honest, I'm not very sure. I think both those games could have a could have a decent uh, chance of winning. Yeah. So at this point, I'm not sure which one of the two should I go for. I can also go for 6312 and maybe 634 or 642. But at this point, um, yeah, I think I'm just leaning towards playing a game with playing a Orvi cheap game. The 6 over will not be blocked a lot, especially because it will only be blocked by red, um, white, black and I share it. Um, the 5 sheep might be blocked a bit, but uh, I think uh, I can make do with it for now. So yeah, so I will play, I will go for a Orvi cheap game here. I have, I don't think I've gone for a only Orvi cheap game in quite a few uh, time, in quite uh, some time. So yeah, so once I place on 8, 5, 10, I would want to point my road to the left, but I am little worried that black might just go for 6, 4, 5 or 6, 3, 4 and cut me off. Yeah, because black does need wheat and uh, brick. So black can easily place a settlement on 6, 3, 4. But I think in any case, just pointing left is fine. I will be competing with black for the 3 to 1 port, but I think it's all right here. And here pointing upwards, I don't think it makes much sense. Uh, I believe red will go for 3, 4, 11. So I will just point to the right because 9, 12 seems a better spot than either 11, 12 or 3, 4, 11. Yeah, and uh, like the wood port doesn't help me at all. So yeah, pointing to the right is fine. Here I do expect black to go for 6, 3, 4 and he does do that. And now red has a difficult decision, but I think red can just go for 3, 4, 11 and try and play for the Orvi cheap game as well. And here white can just go for 9, 4, 2 and have a pretty decent game. So here I am not too confident with my setup. I would want to get to the 833 to 1 port. And for that to happen, I do. Wow. This is very surprising. White going for 8 4. White should have surely gone for 9 4 or uh, 2. Because every 9 would then have just given him a road. This placement doesn't make any sense to me.
You are not much that I can do with the cards I have in hand. Wow, he's asking for a two to one this early on in the game, which is surprising. Does get a one to one with uh, red, and now I am just a eight or a six away from getting a city. Sorry, eight or a ten away from getting a city. Here, I think I'll just hold on to these cards. I do want to get a city. Like, if I got a road building or a year of plenty, that would have been uh, pretty good for me as well. But I think just holding on for a city is fine. And I will surely be sitting up the 6312 here, increase my ore production and also as I have said I don't think the 6 ore will be blocked much apart from like only red will block it. Hopefully no 7s are rolled. Yeah, So here I will just get my city. And also a dev card. I do get a knight so I can unblock myself if I need to. I believe black will be able to get a city as well because of these sixes that have been rolling frequently. Although I wasn't too impressed with Black's, uh, sorry, White's uh, first placement, he does seem to be in a good position at this point uh, after getting a settlement on 810. Here I will surely be asking for a word. Um, for two sheep, I still don't want to do it. Um, I will still, I will accept it though because. I still can get something out of it. So, yeah, I mean, red just built a settlement and a dev card after playing the year of plenty there. It's unfortunate that black is targeting me, but um, and there is no way that I can target black again. Uh, yeah, there is no easy way for me to target black, but at this point, I think white is a pretty decent target. Uh, let's see if I can get any trades though. I believe my only option here is to just do a 4 is to 1, get a word and build a road towards the 3 is to 1 port. Black does have some wood in hand, so now if I roll a 7, I will surely be targeting black. Yeah, I can think, I think I can still accept this trade. I don't believe black will be able to cut me off. Yeah, black doesn't cut me off. So that's very good for me now. So here if I get this trade, I will be able to get a dev card and a settlement. But I don't think I'll get the trade. I don't think anybody has the sheep. Yeah. So at this point, I'll just get my settlement and end my turn.
A single 10 and a 6 will now give me uh, another city and getting a city on 8, 5, 10 would be very very strong. Yeah, blocking the 6 uh, wheat here was surely a good choice. Would love to roll a 7 on my turn just to unblock myself or maybe a 10 just to get a city. I do roll a 10 here so that's pretty good. Uh, let's see if I can get any trades. Yeah, I don't think any other trade over here makes sense apart from trying to get some wood. Your white rolls a 7. I think white would block the 5 sheep and steal from me. Yeah, does do that. Wow, another 7 is rolled. So now red will surely block the 6 over and steal from me. Okay, steals from black. I don't mind that. I think black is also in a very strong position with the access to the wheat port. And I think black is also a, a very strong contender for getting the longest road. It okay, gets a very quick trade with black there. So not sure what red is thinking about. Oh, does a okay red is going towards the sheep port which is fine I mean at this point it doesn't seem to be a bad idea but I don't think anybody has any sheep to give so yeah I'll just end my turn here Let's see if I can get a 1 is to 2. It's unlikely that I will get a 1 is to 2, but it's worth trying. Red rolls a 7. I think red will block the 5 sheep now. I wouldn't want that, but I think that's the only good option. Yeah, it steals from me. Yeah. So not sure if any trade is good for me at this point, especially in, don't think any trades with black would be good. Surely not doing a one is to one trade with black at this point. I cannot do much with the cards I have in hand. This 5 would have been a good roll for me. Unfortunately, it's blocked, so I cannot do much. I don't want to do 1 is to 1 trades. Here. White is thinking quite a bit. I think White might have a monopoly in hand. If he has, he still shouldn't be playing it at this point. I mean, there isn't a lot of wheat available in the game. Okay, just builds a road. And I think red will be able to get a settlement. 
Now let's see if I get this trade. I, red does have both these resources in abundance. Um, yeah, I don't want to give up my ore. So let's see if red accepts the original trade. I just cannot give red a city this uh, at this point. Okay, red just goes for a dev card there. Plays the knight. I think will be targeting me. He does need the wheat. It does get it. The only good thing is that the five sheep was unlocked, but it didn't roll, so it doesn't help me much. Yeah, I cannot do much at this point. If red hadn't played the knight, I would have been able to get a dev card, but uh, now I cannot. I need the sheep. None of the other trades make any sense for me. The brick doesn't help me much at this point. So although I do have two cities here, um, there is not a lot of progress that I have been able to make. Yeah, again, losing out on a few ores here. Yeah, red will be able to get a settlement on the wood port and with the amount of wood production that red has, red seems to be in a very strong position. Wow. And uh, yeah, in black targets me, I don't think that's the right move here, but that's what it is. Here I get a victory point, uh, not the card that I was looking for. Laser road building is able to cut me off, but I don't. I mean, that's all right. I would still say I do need to get the largest army, though. And yeah, at this point, red is just crushing the game. So now I don't need to build any more roads because there is nowhere that I want to set up. I do get another knight so I will be able to unblock myself in the next turn. Still a far way away. Yeah, And here I know that white is going to block me on the 5 sheep. And blocks black. I think red is just going under the radar here. That said the 6 block at this point did work in my favor. Yeah. So red should be able to get a dev card. Does get a dev card here. And 8 rolls. That's a pretty good roll for me. Especially because that gives me wheat. Wow. So black targeting me is not good at all. I mean black is just giving the win to Red, but for now I will accept this trade. It does give me a dev card in hand. Uh, here, although I am on, I think because I am on seven cards, I will not play the knight. And it was a, I think it turned out to be fine here. I need to block both red and black. Here, I think I'll just go for a dev card. I do get a victory point. So, but yeah, with the cards I have in hand, my only option is to go for a city now and end my turn. Uh, 
rolls another 10 there is it's very difficult for me to get the largest army i'm pretty sure either red or black has a knight in hand and they can easily just play it and yeah even black might be in a good position here sorry white might be in a good position red will be able to get a city this turn i believe I think I would want a 3 to roll. Rolls a 6. So, not much that I can do about it. And plays a Monopoly. Wow. Uh, steals 4 uh, four weeds away from me. So, black here can easily get the longest road. Okay, so I think he's just going for a city. Okay, going for dev cards. So here, although I do seem to be a threat, but I think uh, I am pretty much behind in the game. There is, it's very difficult for me to win it. Here, not much that I can do with the cards I have in hand. White plays a knight. I think white will block me again. Okay, finally it does target uh, black. So, okay, red rolls a 7, should surely be blocking the 6 wheat here. Or maybe 6 over and steal from black. I mean, if red targets me here, I cannot do anything, but uh, surely black has the lead here. Yeah, does target black, which makes sense. So now I would want a 8 to roll on my turn. That would basically give me two dev cards. Black plays a knight. Black might block the 10 more. Wow, continues to block the 10 wheat. Roll the 6. So I think that's uh, just GG now. I think black has the win in hand. In the next turn, black can just play a knight, get the largest army and win the game. Yeah, I cannot do anything here. Unless I get this trade and I get two victory points. Seems unlikely, but it's worth asking. If not, I think the only option I have here is to get one dev card. I do get a victory point though, so... Wow. If red has the knight, he has to play it. Thus play the knight, so that is very good. And blocks the six wheat, I think that was the best move red could have done. Your black might play the knight. Rolls an 8. So I need to get another victory point to win the game. I have 3 here. So if a 5 rolls, I can still try and get more victory points. Instead, I roll a 2 and I don't think that helps me in any way. Let's see if I can try and get any trade.
maybe i can even offer a 1 is to 2 here uh, and try and get two dev cards so i think this is my only hope i get a monopoly which uh i don't know if i can do much with it at this point i think it's a little too late so yeah i'll just end my turn though hopefully white has a knight has to block the 6 wheat here and uh, yeah let's see what happens but i think black can still just win the game after playing the knight and getting the largest army so instead uh, white wins here yeah so i end on end this game on the second position uh i was very lucky with the rolls i mean with the dev cards as well getting three victory points but um, yeah i don't think my game was very good but it's not bad at all anyway um bye for now and see you again in the next video bye bye Hello everyone to another Catan video here on colonist.io and to my road to top 100 series so in this game i am in the fourth position so seems like it is going to be a very difficult board um surely the first position can easily go for uh 8 5 10 and point towards the sheep port can also go for 6 5 11 there is not a lot of break available but uh, quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of wheat uh, and decent amount of wood all uh, and ore available so based on that it feels like this is going to be a very difficult game especially for me in the fourth position because i'm not sure what setup will i be able to get so i believe uh, orange will go for 8 5 10 red can easily go for 6 5 11 or 6 5 12 maybe i can if red goes for 6 5 11 there is some chance that 6 11 12 well might be open so yeah if 6 11 12 well is open i can just go for 6 11 12 well and uh, 9 5 10 might work out in my favor red does go for 8 5 10 and uh, orange goes for 6 5 11 it's a little surprising i think 8 5 10 would have been much better that said here i think i might be able to go for something like uh, 8 3 4 and uh, 9 5 10 as well trying to play with the wheat port let's see what black goes for here i think black can also go for 8 3 4 there is yeah i can actually go for something like 8 3 4 692 as well and try and play with the wood port if possible build a settlement on 52 that would be quite good for me yeah i think i have like that option
just wondering if there is anything else that's better but at this point i am leaning towards 834692 orange might go for 52 but um it's a maybe it's a big maybe and in any case i think i will be able to get to the 3 to 1 port so maybe i can play a game with low sheep or no sheep in that case but on the other hand i can just go for 693 if i am not focused on the wood port that's not true i am trying to go towards the wood port it's just unlikely that i will be able to get there if uh, orange goes for 52 that said orange might actually yeah i'm not sure here but i believe i'll just go for the plan that i have set up for me here this might not be the strongest setup but um, i do start with six different numbers also although even though when i say six different numbers i do have two and three which aren't very strong let's see what red does so i mean orange did predict that red would be locked out of any good uh, wheat spots uh red can still go for something like 8410 and try and get to the sheep port that is surely an option or maybe directly go for 63 here the chat is quite active um yeah so now i think um orange is forced to go for 52 which is not something that i like but i don't think there is much of a choice that i have here red one uh, orange wants to go for 5 8 10 um surely i don't mind that so at this point orange isn't even considering 5 2 which is good for me but um, still it's going to be a difficult game getting to 5 2 itself would be a big task uh especially because i don't although i do have one of the best brick production on the board the production itself isn't very strong and i also want to get to the 3 to 1 port and the wheat port so i do need to build quite a few roads and settlements i need to get a little lucky rolling quite a few twos and threes i would say
Also, people might target me a bit, especially because I'm the only one who has uh, any brick production. Also, I am the only one who starts with a brick in hand. So, if a seven is rolled early on, people will surely be targeting me. This surely seems to be a good trade for me, especially because I don't have any sheep production. Uh, I might be giving black a dev card, but um, I mean, I, okay, actually, I gave black a city. I didn't uh, notice that, but um, it's fine. I think this also makes it that people will target black. So that makes sense here. So red here should be blocking the six ore, and although will not be able to steal from black, will surely should. Target green, or oh, sorry, orange. I don't mind that. I mean, red can target me because he wants the brick, uh, which would be unfortunate, but um, not something that I can do anything about. Yeah. So as expected, red does block me. And does get a city as well. So here, eight ore will be blocked for sure. I believe maybe blocks the eight ward. Yeah, does block the eight ore. And I will just continue building on to the roads here. I cannot. I don't think I can keep any brick in hand uh, for long. People will target me. And now all I need is a four or a nine to roll. Here I won't be accepting any trades with black just yet. Black seems to be in a pretty strong position. Already has a city. A nine does roll here, so that's a pretty good roll for me. And uh, let's see if I can get this trade here. If this trade goes on, I will be able to get a dev card along with a settlement. Uh, nobody accepts that trade, so for now, I think I'll just get my settlement on five two and end my turn. The 8 being blocked here does affect me, but um, I think now I am in a good position. Uh, black rolls a 7. I think black will bro block the 5 sheep and steal from me. Blocks the 6 wheat. Solo blocks me, which is very, really surprising. Here, because I am being targeted, I think I'll just go for a dev card. I get road building. Uh, that's pretty good. Because using that road building, I can build a settlement on 9, 10, 11, which is very strong for me. Here, orange preemptively plays a knight and blocks black. And then rolls a seven, so yeah, surely a wasted uh, robber. Yep. 
Now everybody already has a city except for me, so that is also something that I need to keep in mind. Here, not much that I can do with the cards I have in hand. Here, to be really honest, actually, rather than building on 9, 10, 11, I would prefer building on 9, 4, 11. That would increase my wood production by quite a bit. But at this point, uh, it's difficult because I need to build an extra road even after playing a road building. So, seems unlikely that I will be able to do that. I can surely try. On the other hand, I can actually cut off red from building on Wow uh, But Yeah, here I can actually try and cut off red from building on any of these settlements Oh sorry, uh, building on the sheep port Here, let me ask for a trade. If this trade goes on, I will be able to get a settlement on 9411, and I don't think that would be a bad choice. Um, yeah, because I'm not getting that trade, here I will just play my road building. And here I will build on the 3 to 1 port. I think it's better than actually building on the wheat port is slightly better. So building towards the wheat port is better. That increases my wood production by a little as well. Here I haven't participated in the chat at all. I I think it's fine if I just stay away. Uh, surely I wouldn't want uh, wouldn't want red to be targeting me. Not sure what red wants to do here. Red does uh, does get two dev cards there. Here, I think blocking the six ore is very very important at this point. Yeah, block being blocked on the eight ore is affecting me negatively at this point, but. Um, I would surely want to get a city soon enough. So, your red isn't blocking me, which is a good thing, but black can easily play the knight and target me again. Yeah, so black continues to target me. Here, I think I'll just get my settlement on the wheat port. Not much for me to do. And I'll end my turn. Two does roll, that's a pretty good roll for me. But uh, I cannot do much with it, I believe. 
here the 6 being blocked is pretty good black already has the largest army I would love to roll a 7, I haven't rolled any 7s I believe this game So here I do get a 2 is to 1 And yeah, keep on losing out on 8 ores there Here I still need to roll up quite, I mean a few fours would be good for me. I will be able to get a 2 is to 1 and in, I will build a city on 962 just so that I can increase my wheat and uh, wood production with the ports that I have. And I know that 8 ore is going to be blocked a lot. Yeah, so keep on losing out on ores because of the 8 rolls there. A 9 does roll but I think uh, black will be able to get a dev card or 2 here. Here I will accept a 1 is to 2. Uh, 1 is to 1 with black doesn't make any sense here. Um, maybe I can get this trade or 2 is to 3. So, although I am giving black a settlement, but that does guarantee me. Okay, black doesn't even get a settlement here. But now it does guarantee me getting a city which is surely good for me. And uh, I will hold on to these cards in hand. I wouldn't mind if uh, Orange has a monopoly and plays it on over at this point. Instead, I think Orange is just going for a second city. He does do that. I would like Red to roll a 7 just so that he can block uh, Black. Unfortunately, the 6s are rolling here which helps Black and Orange quite a bit. And I keep on losing out on resources because of these uh, blocks. Let's see if I can get any trades. Here I think my best option is to go for a dev card though. Uh, although I can build a road and settlement, uh, I think just getting dev card is fine. I will be able to unblock myself if I need to, if uh, if it's a knight. Yeah, I do get a knight here. I mean, red is complaining, but then it's black has been very lucky that sevens haven't rolled at all. And six, I mean, yeah, so. 8 has been blocked in such a long time, haven't done anything at all.
let's see what orange is thinking i think orange is just going for the longest road here and yeah i mean these sixes are just way too good i lose out on a few cards but i think that's completely all right here at this point black should target orange yeah does target orange maybe might be able to win the game as well that said i will play my knight i'm not sure why i wasn't able to steal from black there that's a little surprising to me here wow i took a wood instead of a brick oh, sorry instead of a sheep there a mistake made by me for sure i wanted to take a take a sheep and go for a def card instead i took a wood so totally not what i wanted to do finally i get something out of the eight wow what 12 so i mean black has been very very lucky this game throughout this game so yeah i end this game on the third position i think here the die roll were just unfair i think yeah seven rolled only six times this entire game and if you see resources lost because of the robber i think i was targeted the most uh, other than black and uh, yeah also i think i and we yeah, are red and i lost the most resources because the eight was blocked throughout the game so that's just unlucky i don't like giving red is frustrated but then it's all because of sevens um uh, that did not roll and eight rolled whenever it was blocked so yeah and six is also rolled quite a bit so black did make huge progress throughout the game here even if i had tried getting the i could have gone for longest road maybe but still i don't think so i would have been able to compete with black so in all ways i mean i was robbed the most like apart from black and i did lose out on most resources also quite a lot of resources so surely not a very good game here but that's how it is yeah and in this game i did not practice i mean participate in the chat much i don't think it was worth participating in the chat there was uh, it wasn't like people could have uh even tried fighting against black the way i mean if sevens weren't rolling there was no way people would have targeted him so yeah that's how it is so bye for now and see you again in the next video bye bye hello everyone to another katan video here on colonist.io and to my road to top 100 series so in this game i am in the fourth position um here i do notice that there is a decent amount of ore uh average amount of wheat and sheep a decent amount of brick but not a lot of wood available on this board so yeah for me being in the fourth position is difficult on this board i think 834 or 8410 will be picked up 9510 and 6 uh, 
511 could be the choices that people go for and if that happens I am not left with a lot of good ore spots so yeah so here red does go for 8410 I think I have played with red before I'm not exactly sure but I it feels this name is uh, I've seen this name before is what I feel anyway let's take a look now I think orange will orange can also go for something like yeah still I think uh, 9510 seems to be fine choice will be able to get some ore when it comes back sorry some wheat when it comes back to him it goes for 6511 can't complain about that and uh, yeah so black does go for 9510 so I did expect all these pots to be picked up by someone or the other Here I am surely considering going for um, 9.5.10 and 8.3.4 and then trying to play with the wood port sorry trying to play with the brick port I don't think anybody will place on 9.2 And I, I think that seems to be a fine choice here. The other option that I have is maybe I can go for 6, 4, 11 and, uh, and 9, 10, 5, sorry, 9, 10, 3 and play with the wheat port. But here I like playing with the brick port and the way I am placing my settlements I think apart from 9.2 and uh, 9.3.11 I cut off all the other decent uh, brick spots. So that is surely not a bad choice here. If somebody wants to be spiteful and place on 9.2 just to cut me off I think red might do that. But um, yeah, if red does that, I don't think there is any way I can stop him. So maybe I can just go for 952 myself. Uh, yeah, I'll take the risk here. Might not have been the best position. I yeah, feels like just going for. Uh, Yeah, because red does need sheep, but once red gets a settlement on 5-2, red will have the sheep that red is looking for. So maybe red can place on 9-2. But now that my first placement has been on 9-5-10, I don't think there is any choice for me to apart from... eight three four. That said, maybe I can, yeah, I think I can also go for 6.3.11 here, sorry, 6.3.4 here. And that way I will be able to get to the, because I don't need the ore port at all. I already have decent brick production. So this way, maybe I can go to 4.11 and play with the 3 to 1 port. I don't think that would be a bad choice. And uh, also then red might actually go for it. It 310 if I leave it open. So yeah, I mean this is uh Yeah, it's a risky move especially because uh, I don't have much on this board but I think it's a move worth taking here. So 
So here I do need to get a little lucky by rolling a few threes early on, and uh, that way I will be able to build towards the wheat port. That, that can easily build on six, eleven, twelve. It goes for eight, ten, three, which is excuse me, which is completely fine as well. your orange might actually go for 9311 orange did say in the chat that i have good spots i don't think so it was a very difficult decision for me actually orange goes for 83 that is really surprising and now i would want uh, i would want red to go for 9311 or Six three or three four, even nine twelve would be fine. Yeah, it does go for nine three seven. So I am very happy with my setup. I mean, here I can see myself going towards not only the brick port but also the wheat port, the three to one port. the 12 yes. i'm surprised that black didn't build a road here but um, it's fine i think black would want to go towards the 3 to 1 port or maybe black would want to go towards the 3 to 1 port here but in any case i think for me i can actually build on the 6 11 12 here and because i have a couple of options i would actually just hold on to these cards and end my turn as well your red rolls a 7 red might actually block the 6 a uh, wheat and try and steal a wood or a brick from me can also block the 5 or i don't think that would be a bad choice but uh, yeah so does block the 6 wheat and surely should steal from orange orange is in a much much better position with all the or that they have but um, yeah so he let the bot decide and bot stole from me which is a little unfortunate and you are not getting a lot of rolls in my favor but um, that's how it is sometimes Uh, let's see if I can get this trade. I don't want to do a two is to one this early on in the game. Uh, and this point, I will accept this trade. For me, it's fine here, giving a uh, black a uh, yeah. I think giving black. a wheat is actually not good but it's something that i don't have much choice upon surely there isn't any not a lot of wood available on this board which is a little bummer but uh, that's how it is here i can surely build a road towards 92 i think getting a settlement on 92 is a pretty good choice or a good option for me
I don't think so. Red will be able to build a road and a settlement. And uh, yeah, for me, getting onto nine two makes it that uh, the five two is even more juicy than. I know that black does have some wood in hand. If black accepts this trade, it will basically give me a two is to I mean a four is to one. Here I roll a ten, which doesn't help me. Let's see if I can get any trades. I don't think anybody has any word, or not that I remember of. Yeah, so nobody has it. So I'll just end my turn. Here I will ask for a one is to two again. That does give me the option of doing a four is to one if I need to. Instead, I just roll a seven. And here I think just targeting black should be all right. I do get wheat, which is not something that I want. Yeah, I do. Think I can do anything? I might just have to end my turn with eight cards in hand. Would be unfortunate, but that's how it is. And immediately a seven is rolled, so that basically is a not a good sign for me. Your red would want to block the six wheat again. hopefully not steal from me but if he does i cannot do anything about that here yeah i mean red seems like red does not even have sorry orange does not even have a knight Yeah, here at this point, none of these trades are any good for me. And now a one is to two also doesn't help me much. Yeah, so I cannot do anything on this turn. So now red does have a road and a settlement in hand, I believe, because of the nine and the ten that has rolled. Here I'm still hoping to do a one is to two. Yeah, so there does accept it. That is a good sign for me. And now let's see if I get this trade. If not, I I mean I still can just do a four is to one. And I think like that's the only option I have here. So now my next target is to get a settlement on the five two. Although six eleven twelve seems to be a good choice, but uh, there is not much that I can do about it. Like I do need some luck.
Yeah, so here I mean black basically wants wood or wheat and I don't have either. Here again, let's see if I get any trade for wood. Uh, I might accept a 1 is to 1 as well, but um, I don't think I am going to get any trades. Yeah. So at this point, red should be blocking the 8 brick. Or maybe the 4 wheat could be fine as well. Uh, might be a target. 5 ore seems obviously a good option. And yeah, here red is also making very good progress because of the few 8s and 11s that have rolled. Yeah, here red seems to be the best contender for longest road as well. So... It's going to be a very, very difficult game here for me and Orange. Here, not much that I can do again. I mean, I can just offer a 1 is to 1. Apart from that, there is nothing else that I will be able to do. And I don't think any of these trades are going to go through, so I'll just do a 4 is to 1 and get my road towards the 5 2 or towards the brick port. Here, let's see what red does. I think red will go for a dev card. Yeah, it does go for a dev card there. And nine rolls. Orange does get their second city. Here, I do feel that I am quite far behind in the game. The only good part is that I am not being targeted but apart from that I don't have much to say about anything. Stealing from black basically means that I will be getting a sheep. Uh, yeah, Stealing from red means that I got a brick so either wouldn't have helped me. And now red rolls a 7. I think red can block either the 9 sheep or the 4 wheat. I surely wouldn't want the 4 wheat to be blocked. Wow. Blocks the... So yeah, I mean... A 2 rolls, that's a pretty good roll for me. And here I don't think I have any choice but to target red again. I do get a wheat. I think that could have been the best uh, pull for me this entire game. And now these nines are very very strong. Wouldn't mind rolling a few more of these sixes. Here I would love to roll a 9, basically giving me a city. Instead I roll a 12, so... Not sure what I can do with that. Uh, 
see i think i will accept it and here i think i'll just hold on to these cards in hand and try and get a settlement on the 411 321 port i think it is fine that i just get a settlement on the 321 port uh let's see if i can get a over instead i do get a over so that is good for me so now a single nine will basically give me a city orange had a road building he had held on to it for quite a long time wow so here i can try and get a city but i think i'll just go for a settlement and hold on to these cards in hand 11 now basically gives me a word so far there have been quite a few 11s that have rolled i would want to see orange roll a 7 here he losing out on four cards and then i think orange will block not sure what orange will block though so both the road buildings have already been played because red and orange have played a road building wow eight is huge for red here i will ask for a 1 is to 2 i am giving orange a settlement but um, it gives me a city so surely it is worth a try yeah does get the trade done so i mean unless black has a monopoly so let's see what black does here here i will ask for a 1 is to 2 if i get it it's not a bad choice at all wow another eight rolls here so these rolls are very very strong for red i mean for everyone except for me red rolls a 7 i think red will block the 6 wheat or maybe the 5 over but i think 6 wheat makes more sense yeah does block the 6 wheat and gets a city so i surely need to fight for the longest road i'm not sure how i will do that but it's surely something that i need to do here yeah i will steal from red i mean it i just get a over but it's not something that i can do anything about red roll the 7 red should block the 5 over or maybe the 6 wheat yeah does block the 6 wheat here so orange still doesn't have a knight let's see what black does wow yeah so these eights are actually very infuriating now it's basically me losing the game 
Yeah, I cannot do much with the cards I have in hand. So Yeah, red does get a red basically just needs to build a couple of roads and has the win in hand. Wow. I can't even say how many um let I mean I'm not even sure if I should try and get the longest road. I don't think there is any point in doing that. I don't even know if anybody has any wood in hand. Yeah, I will be able to build two roads, but I don't think there is anything that I can do about that. I mean, how does that help me? I'm not sure. So at this point, I think I'll just go for a VP. I do not even get a VP. Yeah, red rolls the seven. Red will surely be blocking me. Or maybe blocks the six or, but I think and block the five or try and steal from black. Okay, steals from orange. I think stealing from black or me would have been better because I think red needs to build the longest road. So, yeah, I mean, the five roll at this point is good for me, but not sure how it helps. I, I think black has just quit the game. I don't think he did anything in the last turn either. Here, I would want a two to roll. So that I can build four roads and secure the longest road. Uh, let's see if I can get a one is to two. Um, getting a brick and a sheep maybe doesn't help me much, but I will go for it. So now I basically need a two to roll. One, yeah, I roll a eight instead. Yeah, I'm basically just trying to get something here. Yeah, I don't think I am getting any trades. And I just ran out of time there. So yeah, red wins the game there. And I think that's just GG. So uh, yeah, pretty bad game there for me. I mean, 
Yeah, so no threes roll this entire game. Only one four. Sixes did roll quite a bit, but I think it was blocked for more than half the game. No tens. Very few fives. So I think yeah, my numbers just didn't roll. Elevens rolled quite a bit. Eights also were huge for red. I couldn't have done much in this game at all. I think. So yeah, I mean, back to back losses here. Yeah, so red. I mean, yeah, here orange and I lost out on quite a few cards because of being blocked. I mean, yeah, orange was blocked throughout the game with sixes and fives. Red wasn't blocked at all. And yeah, when it comes to robbing as well. So yeah, I mean, pretty poor game there, but it's not much that I could have done anything about. Maybe I could have tried getting the longest road, but that was difficult as well. So yeah, so the losing streak continues here. It's pretty unfortunate. Uh, I am going in in the wrong way in the leaderboard. Currently at seventeen twenty four. and uh, if you take a look at my history i don't remember winning in quite some time yeah so losses throughout i did win two games here but i think those were 1v1 games yeah again see losses i don't yeah see it's been quite some time since i won a uh, 1v1 game Oh, sorry, a four v or a four play game. I did win a few two player games, but then, yeah. So the downtrend continues, but uh, yeah, not much that I can do. I mean, hopefully, I can change the momentum. I might play a few games offline, or and uh, maybe even take a break. for a day or two i do have record i mean i have recordings for the next four or five days so maybe i'll take a break and then come back to katan after that um uh, anyway yeah bye for now and uh, see you again in the next video bye bye hello everyone to another katan video here on colonist.io and to my road to top 100 series so this series has not been so good for good or kind to me i have been trending in the downward um uh yeah i have been not going in the right direction so i would like to change that i do notice that there is quite a lot of uh, wheat available on this board a decent amount of sheep available as well and because of that i think just going for 9510 might be a good option there is very little ore also i noticed that there is not a lot of wood and brick uh so now i am actually considering something like 83 834 grabbing the best brick and a very strong wood um and this way i think i will be able to build quite a lot of roads and make good progress i can also go for 8 10 3 but then i am just playing with brick and ore uh, as my initial placement and that doesn't those two resources don't go together too well the other option is 8 3 4 but then i don't need to focus on wheat or sheep just yet so because of all that i think just going for 8 3 4 is fine 9510 could also be an option but as i have said that i am not too focused on wheat and sheep so i just go for that uh here i am pointing towards the wheat port and to the 3 to 1 port i could have tried pointing upwards and build on 810 but um that's not something that i want to do just yet just going to the 3 to 1 port seems all right 
for my second placement i think i might be able to get something like uh, 5411 or maybe 5104 that would increase my brick production but um, with the help of the 3 to 1 port i think i can play or uh, play uh, with the port and with a lot of brick for here i think black has a easy pick on 9510 yeah and does go for that i have played with wool 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 before i do remember seeing this name especially because how it comes up in chat or it comes up as sorry wood wool wool so it comes up as yeah exactly this i also think that there is some chance that i might be able to get something like 6 11 12 as my second placement which doesn't seem too strong at the beginning especially because 11 12 are not great numbers and i'm already have 3 which isn't a strong number either i think i might also be able to get something like uh, 5 4 11 now that 5 4 10 has been uh cut off my other choice would be i thinking Uh, let's see what orange is going for orange goes for 8 4 and 6 sorry 6 mm, i don't his numbers are pretty decent but i'm not sure if he is too strong here he has a lot of wheat so here i think red can easily go for a uh, 6 4 and then play with the wood port or maybe red might want to go for 9 3 11 but uh, 6 4 11 seems a better choice but now that uh, orange has gone for 6 5 11 I am not sure what my best pick would be at this point in time. Maybe I can start with eight three and then try and build on six three. Yeah, that is surely a option that I have. Wow, red goes for eight ten. I did not expect that at all. And yeah, red. Uh, sorry, black would now surely go for six four eleven. I can also start with four eleven. Try and build on nine two as well as on six three. But that seems too ambitious a plan just yet. Yeah, I'm not sure what Black is thinking about. Just six four eleven seems to be a decent choice. That said, Black will no longer have the sheep port. Yeah, but still goes for six four eleven, which makes complete sense here. And uh, here, I think I can just go for nine three eleven. The wheat port is no longer very important to me because I don't. produce any wheat at this uh, at this point in time yeah so it's going to be a difficult game but i think it's still playable here i do roll a early 8 and that means i will build towards 4 11 Maybe I should build towards a three to one port first. Yeah, I 
surely think that is not a bad option here. On the other hand, I can also build towards 9-2 and actually get a settlement on 6-2. Based on my resource production, I don't think that would be a bad choice. So I'll go for that option here. I would want a few early 9s and 4s to roll. Sorry, I meant 8s uh, and 4s to roll. Here, let's see if I can get a trade. I don't think I will. Uh, yeah, so I'll just end my turn. Four does roll here, so I will be able to get a road towards the six two. Here, if I roll a seven, I think I have to block. Uh, Red. Okay, red gets an easy trade with orange. So now red will be able to get a settlement on the 3 to 1 port. Yeah, it does get that settlement. The unfortunate part is the 8 brick will be blocked quite a bit now. Actually, it blocks the 10 over. I don't mind that. Here I roll another 9, uh, let's see if I can get any trades. Um, here I might accept a 1s to 2. Now, 1 is to 1 isn't going to help me too much at this point. So, red doesn't accept it. And just as planned, I think just going towards the 6 2 is a good choice here. These 9s are really good. I can at least get a 4 is to 1 trade here. Here again hoping for, let's see if I get this trade. Maybe I can get a trade like this. So yeah, black accepts it. I think I'm fine with that at this point in time. And now I might even offer a 1 is to 2. So because nobody accepts it, I'll just go for a 4 is to 1 and get my settlement. Now I, after this, I think my next target should be to get to the 3 is to 1 port. Yeah, these early 8s and 4s are good for me. Also, 9s have been rolling quite a bit, so I have had good luck in this game. Yeah, so now red is making huge progress. Orange rolls the 7, orange has to target red here. Yeah, does target red and I completely am okay with it. Uh, 10 rolls here, so nothing that I can do at this point. I'll just get my road and end my turn. Yeah, I would surely like to roll a few 7s as well, just so that I can block red here. So yeah, blocking red is an easy choice and here I think I will block the four along with uh, uh, along with that. Yeah, 
black does get a city here or uh, red plays the knight i think red will block the nine sheep hopefully doesn't steal from me but yeah doesn't steal from me here again i would love to roll a 7 just to unblock myself and uh, so yeah i mean i don't think orange needed to pay a play a prevent a preemptive knight but uh, does play it and i don't mind that at all here and i will be getting a longish road so people will start blocking me now because it does seem scary Uh, roll the seven. Surely will be stealing from me at this point. Okay, continues to steal from black. I don't mind that. Wow, red is making very good progress in the game. Yeah. So because I keep rolling these sevens, I think I have to. Target red. There is no other choice. And uh, let's see if I can get a trade. Like if I get this trade, I will get a settlement on eleven four, which seems to be a fine choice here. So yeah. Here, because I'm not getting any trade, I'll just build my settlement and end my turn. Now I do need to focus on getting a city. Red rolls the seven. Red will most likely block the nine or sorry nine uh, sheep. Yeah, and does steal from me at this point. Uh, six is a very good roll for me. I would want a few kings to roll as well. And at this point, yeah, I think I'll just hold on to these cards, or maybe I can do a four is to one, get a or, and maybe try my luck with a dev card. But getting a knight would not be very useful. I need to get a city early uh, before I get a knight. So yeah I think I'll just hold on to it it's a risk that I am taking but it's not like I have much of a choice here So again I'm hoping for a 3 and a 6 to roll Two rolls that's a pretty good roll for me again because I'm the only one who gets any more Surely wouldn't want to trade with uh, red, giving him more. Six does roll here, so now all I'm hoping for is a three or a two. Instead, I roll a nine, which uh, doesn't help me much. And here I'm still hoping for a three to roll, and that will give me two ores. And uh, because of that, I think I'll just go for a dev card. I do get a knight. Here, black might play the knight. and block the eight brick doesn't play the knight so most likely black's dev card isn't a knight here that's okay he just plays it it's a year of plenty your red does have one over in hand okay he just made use of it another 10 rolls so pretty good rolls for red here i do not have much choice i have to play my knight and here i will steal from black because it guarantees an over for me and i do roll a 7 so that was a very lucky uh move there because i was able to steal from black get a or and also tar now i can still target red 
and he did not give up any of his ores so there is a good chance i will be able to steal ore from him i don't which is very unfortunate at this point uh let's see if i can get a trade with either black or red if not i think i'll just have to hold on to these cards like if i had stolen from black it was a guaranteed ore i took the risk but it did not pay out in my favor a little unfortunate yeah red does play the knight i think red will target me yeah steals my i am able to get the wheat back but i still will not be able to get a city this turn unless a 3 or a 2 rolls and 11 rolls here so let's see if i get this trade maybe black might be willing to accept it black doesn't accept it uh, how about a 1 is to 2 Yeah, black does accept it. I, although I don't want to go for it, I don't think I have much of a choice. Uh, and here I will get a city on a three four. That is one of my best producing spots. Black rolls a seven. Black will surely block the eight over now. Sorry, eight brick. Uh, should steal from red maybe steal from me now because i am already on 7 points but red will immediately be on 7 in the next turn if he is able to play the knight could either could also be on 8 but wow, red doesn't play the knight there so most likely red doesn't have a knight wow these fives are really good for everyone but me Yeah. Here, I don't think there is much of a choice. I have to target red. I will get a wheat, but um, that's fine. Yeah, black plays a knight. Targets me. A little unfortunate here. I think red is still in a better position than I am. Actually, yeah, even black might be in a better position than I am. But uh, so red will surely be blocking the nine sheep and targeting me here. Okay, blocks black. I don't mind that at all. so orange secures the largest army there which is a little surprising because orange is the only one on the board who does not have any uh, ore production here i cannot do much with the cards i have so i'll end my turn sixes are very good for me here i would love to see a seven being rolled or oh, sorry a three being rolled that would increase my that would basically give me a second city increase my ore production a nine rolls here so at the very least i will be able to get a dev card yeah i think that is the only option i have here i do get a monopoly i think that's a very good card at this point in the game So now I would want a few tens to roll. That's the first three of the game. That's a very good roll for me. It's a little scary that somebody might have a monopoly here. Yeah, I think Red is considering uh, playing a monopoly. Yeah, does play it and is able to steal all three ores from me. Will be able to get a city because a few fives had rolled.
and yeah does get a city there so that's a little unfortunate being robbed in that way your orange should target red but yeah does target red so on my turn again i would love to roll a 7 just to unblock myself or maybe a 3 just to get a city instead i roll a 10 uh, yeah that doesn't feel too nice that said there is quite some i think i also need to play my monopoly at this point and although i know that i will be getting only 3 ores but uh, yeah i'm not sure if anybody will be able to just end the game in the next turn maybe if i play my monopoly on sheep i can have a better uh, chance of making progress uh let's see if i can get trade black might be willing to accept it okay nobody accepts it so at this point i'll just end my turn another 10 rolls so yeah i maybe i should have just played it now red is very close to getting a second city black already got a city so yeah so here red will surely be able to get a city maybe win the game as well if they have two vps in hand just get a city and pull for the win yeah the other option is maybe red has a road building so is might try and get the longest road that is surely okay he's just going for a city here on my turn i would want a 5 to roll i think uh, that way i can just play my monopoly to the fullest i roll a 9 here and at this point i'm not sure what my best option is yeah i have absolutely no idea what i should be doing here i mean i have to play my monopoly i'm just not sure what cards people have maybe playing my own monopoly on on wheat might be a fine choice um yeah i think i'm just going to do that i do get um four wheat so not the strongest move but that's the only option i had there uh, let's see if i can get any ores maybe a 1 is to 2 might work so yeah i mean because none of those trades are going through my only option is to do a 1 is to 1 and get a knight wow so that roll was a turn too late and yeah that's just gg now so yeah red wins the game there maybe i could have played my monopoly on wood but i don't think so the i mean 5 and 10 both rolled so red can easily win the game so yeah i red will be able to get a i think red has two vps here i don't think anything else would make any sense at this point they haven't played their card in quite some time is going for a another dev card i think yeah that was just trying to pull for the win so my downward slide continues it's been quite a long time since i have won the game here i'm not even sure if i will be posting all these games it's been a very very long and lengthy uh slide 
let's see where i am on the leaderboard auto in any case uh, yeah at 1850 doesn't feel good at all and if you if you take a look at the my history third fourth third second second yeah, these were 1v1 games third fourth second again 1v1 games third and yeah so it's been quite a long time so a little unfortunate but uh, maybe i'll not sure what to do here i mean i am trying my best to win it's just not been working in my favor anyway yeah i know it's not a lot of fun to watch a player make mistakes over and over again or be on a losing streak so i mean i'm not sure what to do about that though i am trying my best uh, hopefully i can win soon and change the momentum in the right direction uh, bye for now and see you again in the next video bye bye